Hey there everyone, Karan here from TechRefs. So guys, there are a lot of Bluetooth headphones in the market and that two truly wireless ones. The one that I have with me is by Sony and these are actually the cheapest pair of headphones that they make. For a price of 9,000, they aren't that cheap. Is it really worth 9,000 rupees for the cheapest wireless, truly wireless earphones? Uh, and they are called WF XB700. I'm going to talk about my experience with these headphones. And this is how the earphones look like. I hope we can get a bit of a better idea. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So that is how these earphones look like. I'm going to go through some very basic specifications that is mentioned in the box, nothing more. It says Bluetooth, you can see, it doesn't say anything else, what, what is Bluetooth, I don't get it. What version is it, right? Whatever the version is, I'll mention it down here, that's the version. It's got IPX4, water resistant, water resistant but then uh, not waterproof, so don't throw this in the pool not a good idea it will drown and it will most likely fail this is the best thing actually for me nine hours plus nine hours now what does that mean so basically what it says is that the box can hold just a single charge i mean it's a huge box i should have filled at least three four charges but still okay no complaints it holds nine charge nine hours charge the box and nine hours is for the earphones so total 18 hours of charge that is actually very good so uh, not in totality so totality people look at 36 hours 34 hours but individually just looking at the earphone nine hours is something which i haven't really heard in a truly wireless earphone and my experience using it it actually holds up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this uh, review into few parts i'm going to talk about the build quality first this uh, pill shaped box is slightly big it shouldn't be this big actually for a truly wireless earphone and that to a premium truly wireless earphone which is costing 10,000 bucks yeah I said it it's premium it's not an entry level earphone uh, no matter how much you want to think about it spending 10 grand in India is a premium level earphone uh, you're getting earphone or truly wireless that are costing 1500 1800 2000 3000 4000 bucks these for 10,000 are a premium level earphones at least a mid to premium level earphone if not completely premium at 20,000. The box is pretty shady. Uh, the, the charging case actually and the cover. This is translucent. The box is slightly large. This is the charging light. And you have two more charging lights over here. So let me just show you what do I mean by that. You take this out, put this back in. And it should show you two more charging lights. So that means that is charging. Red means it's charging and this is translucent so you can see these lights peep from there so not the best build quality coming to how do how are the earphones so this is just one of them all right quite a handful actually quite big one of the biggest actually truly really wireless that i've seen so this is where it basically uh, joins in with the uh, with the box for charging and this is the left side so l and r both are indicated with colors gray and red which is very good you shouldn't indicate it with just one uh, so color this is right and these are really huge so this is basically my guess is and i hope i am correct that because they wanted to give you nine hours so they kept this really huge on top of that, they are quite good. So they are IPX4. And let me just show you how does it feel when you're putting here. This is right here. This is, sorry, this is left. This is right. Okay, this is right and this is left. I hope you can see it. So this is how it is. So this is how it is basically they protrude a lot out of your ear and uh, if someone doesn't know that you're wearing you're truly wireless earphones it feels very weird but okay it's fine not that big a deal 
when you're maybe lying on the bed it is uncomfortable something like samsung pixel uh, samsung buds and the google pixel buds those do a much better job of actually hiding this whole bulk and being very small but then they have relatively less battery life so around close to four and a half five five and a half hours and this gives you like again we'll come to that how does it feel when you are putting this here and how does it feel when you're shaking your head let's just try that right now all right i absolutely look like a madman i know but what i was trying to get to is that these don't fall off your ear they are big they are chunky very good for running very good for running i use them for running a lot uh, jogging and running very good for those these do not fall off you will sometimes feel as if they're falling off but they won't fall off your ears so that's really good so kudos to sony for making these uh earphones really good although these are my first truly wireless earphones so i don't have much of a comparison for any other but then i have used many earphones and they always feel like they're going to fall off at any point of time so yeah these fit in very snug coming to a drawback which i had i've been using this for 45 days for the initial 15 days because these are so big the first question that i had it will pain the moment i put it on my ears i was fine after a period of 8 to 10 minutes these started paining like a you know f word these really started to pain a lot in my ear lobes i thought that i'm not going to review these earphones at all i will whatever i i i am not going to review these earphones it just didn't feel worth it after 15 days either these uh, ear tips or my ears have gotten used to each other whatever the case may be they feel much better on my ears and i can listen to them at least for hours and hours without a sweat without feeling that pain like i was mentioning so if you are buying this for the initial 10 to 15 days be wary that you will feel that pain and you'll feel that uncomfortable thing it worked out well for me it might not work out well for you for that you'll have to keep on sharing the changing the ear tip and seeing which one suits you well so i changed my ear tip once and this one sort of fitted me very well and i stayed with it and for for the past 45 30 days now i am completely fine coming to its ease of connectivity i'm going to showcase something to you right now let me put these back in yeah magnetic i forgot to mention that these have magnetic systems and they just lock in sorry these just lock in and they do not fall so yeah, that's something that i forgot to mention in my build but yeah i mean this is like awesome i mean if you're a madman you'll be shaking harder but uh, probably you would never do that so good what i'm going to show is this is my phone my galaxy s9 i have this uh, already paired with my xv700 what i'm going to do is i'm going to take them out of the case and uh, let's see what happens sorry i needed to use both my hands and voila they are connected with 100 percent battery that too so what this means is that it connects in an instant with your phone or any other device if they are paired if they are not paired not a problem follow the same steps of just taking it out and your bluetooth being turned on over there it will instantly connect so that is just amazing buttons that you have over here that is something which i missed out on these sadly don't come with touch functionality which is sorely missed in this price range for ten thousand, there is no excuse in the world that you can add or say that will tell me that you could not add touch functionality with such a huge surface area now it's not a must have but it's a good to have let me tell you what do i mean 
initially I thought that these buttons are just gonna suck like anything so you can see there are two small buttons over here so over here you can see press once music turns on press again music turns off double tap you go to the next song next song awesome while listening keep on pressing this volume increases and long press and your volume keeps on decreasing so that's how these buttons function it took me about a week to get used to it initially i was just pressing all the wrong buttons all the wrong instances so give it a week and you'll get used to it you won't miss the touch functionality that much probably touch functionality is overrated but sony not at this price range second most important thing which is battery backup how good are they so this case takes about two hours to charge the case and the earphones in it in full uh, using a USB-C adapter. It gives nine hours on the case and nine hours on the earphones. With my experience at 100% volume, I get close to eight and a half hours of uh, listening time, which is actually quite close to nine hours claim that they have given. Bring down the volume a bit and you can actually cross that very easily. You can go up to 10 hours of listening time. And then I haven't actually measured how much time does it take for the case to charge, but it doesn't take that much because I've got zero complaints about it. So I don't know how much time it takes, but it doesn't take that much time for sure. Coming to the most important part, how do these earphones sound? In one word, bass heavy and really clear. Those are two things which I never thought I would say it out loud. And it, it wasn't making a sense in my mind when I was listening f from me saying that this is like really clear. and. The bass is like really thumping but let me explain what i mean by that at least to what i understood by that if i was listening to any song that had slight emphasis of bass that bass would get overemphasized if there's a kick drum that kick drum would get overemphasized and the sound would be very good and not to the detriment of vocals or other musical instruments so there's a lot of bass there's a lot of punch but those other musical instruments don't drown out now, one thing that I could have had better is more sound stage. So, you know, wider feeling maybe. So, I'll tell you why I, what I mean by that. So, these are a pair of Sony here on twos that I use. These have noise cancellation, all that jazz. Just one step below the uh, XM3s actually. So, these have like really good sound stage. So. I am used to uh, slightly wide, wider sound stage, but probably it, I mean, that wasn't really that bad. Like I said, bass forward uh, and uh, very clear audio and vocal separation, like no mudding at all. Now, the second thing is, I was listening to a sound by uh, Waksa Chahi. Uh, she's a new singer out there. And uh, when I listen to that song, I have never heard some beats represented that well so there's a background beat that keeps on playing uh during the entirety of that song it these bloody earphones headphones missed it out none of these headphones captured it not my bluetooth speakers and not even these the mega boom 3 so none of my speakers none of my earphones nothing picked it out but when I use these truly wireless that background song, sound came back alive and I could listen to it so it really felt very great I was smiling constantly thinking that what have I discovered it's it's absolutely a new song that I'm listening to so none of these musical instruments I mean these are expensive pieces none of them could capture it and I mean these 10,000 truly wireless captured it very well so that really made me think like wow these are really good earphones for 10,000 rupees I wish these were for six seven thousand because it does it lacks features the problem is that it lacks features I wish these were for six seven thousand but if the sound quality alone would be considered 
these are good for 10,000 rupees I mean, being a truly wireless earphones so do I give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down I think I'll give it a thumbs up uh, probably a rated 9 out of 10 only thing that I feel they could have done better is probably improved on the build quality made these slightly smaller and made this also smaller and probably work out a little bit on the price but this is not a perfect world and this is not a perfect review that I've given this is completely opinionated thought that I've given of my own of how my experience with these earphones were if you have a different experience and you felt that yours was better than mine or worse than mine whatever whatever your thoughts were leave them in the comment section down below to whatever degree let's discuss let's be civilized about things and hash it out down in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys my name is karan and you've been watching tech Trails. see you in the next one